Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Cortana is not working correctly on your Windows 10 computer after you performed an update, whether you upgraded to a new build of Windows 10, or maybe you've upgraded from a previous or earlier version of the Windows operating system. This tutorial will be for you and should hopefully address the problem you're experiencing. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu and you want to type in command prompt best match should say command prompt you want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator if you receive a user account control window you want to select yes now at this point I'm going to minimize the command line window and I'm going to open up the start menu again and I'm going to type in this PC you want to left click on that now it's important you take note of whatever drive letter that Windows is installed on so the hint right down here should be local disk and there should be a little icon of Windows right above the hard drive. Most people should be the C drive but it could be anything from A to Z. So I just want to put that out there. So you want to just take note of that and I'm going to close out of here and reopen the command line window. So I told you guys mine was C. So I'm going to type in CHK DSK and now here comes the part that's going to differ depending on what your drive letter is. At this point, I'm going to type C colon, and this is the part that will be different depending on what drive letter you're using. And then I'm going to do a space, then I'm going to do forward slash F, and then I'm going to hit enter. And it will not be able to run because we're currently using the drive in which Windows is installed on, so we're going to have to schedule this for the next time our computer restarts. So you want to type the Y key on your keyboard, so just the letter Y, and then you want to hit enter. So it should say this volume will be checked the next time the system restarts. So if we close out of here, I would recommend you guys close out of any open programs or applications you may still have open at this time. Restart your computer, let the scan run, and hopefully it will resolve the issue you're experiencing. If that does not resolve the issue, I would recommend going back into the start menu, type in command prompt, again right click on the best match, and then left click on run as administrator. Click on yes for the user account control window. And now you want to type in SFC, so the letters SFC, space, forward slash, scan now. And keep in mind, you want to make sure it's exactly how it appears on my screen here. So SFC, space, forward slash, scan now. There should be no spaces in between the forward slash and the scan now. And there's two ends for scan now. It's the one for the scan part and the one for the now. It's not like there's just only one end for both. And then once you have it as it appears on my screen, you want to hit enter on your keyboard. It'll begin running the scan. You want to give it some time. And once it's done, I would recommend that you restart your system and then hopefully your problem has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.